why <laughs> PJ Tamales. That's his name from now <laughs> tamales? on. Tamales? Tamales. I, I heard tamales. His name is PJ Tamales. Dang. I mean, I, may, I do That's make some That's his name. I'm just going to call him that. I do make some pretty good tamales, so I don't know. <laughs> you ever had tamales in your pajamas? You ever just wanted to just have some nice frozen phenomenon? All right, now, you know, we were talking about how these two played in winners, and Amaryllis took it. I think it might have been either 3 or 3 1. It was definitely dominant. But things are different this time around. Yeah. That is not the same character that uh, Man Super Pie is playing. Instead, it's the Wario. We just saw it do great work against Tony Pajamas. Maybe that is the switch necessary in order to take on Amaryllis. Now, listen, so I really, really feel like. The way that Nine Super Pipe plays this is just super good. Always playing patient, waiting for Bayo to commit to that ABK. But as we know, this is not something that you see normal or uh, higher level Bayo players do. They don't want to commit. They want to see you jump first, and then they can commit to like you know ABK. And that's exactly why Nine Super Pipe is in this position. Very nice down tilt to dash attack. And that's a mix-up, right? At that percent, it's a mix-up? Yes. You can shield it. But what happens when you don't? <laughs> Ooh. I like it when he gets uh, that with him because you get to really see him twirl his little tuchus in slow motion. Mm -hmm. and, and again, I'm sorry to just bring it up, but this is the really one thing that I really love about 9 Super Pi. Just... Auntie... Why? Well, I mean, it's not the first time he's done it. I it's was like the sixth time. He's got to be going it all out. I mean, listen, he got all the way into Losers Finals while still doing that all night tonight, so. I am just praying at this point. <laughs> Sitting here and pray. Oh, very nice upbeat. But this is something that I really wanted to mention about... <laughs> Nine super high. <laughs> Look at him just not committing, and at this point, he doesn't have to do anything. He can just wait for Waft, and then what happens with Waft? You kill them. Goodbye. Yeah, and I feel like I'm not I'm trying to think of the exact situation, but having access to Waft means that some of Emer I'm sure that there are Emeraldus' moves that normally would be safe. Normally be like, I could just throw this out that are no longer going to be in case. You know? Mm -hmm. Like when Emeraldus is recovering, for instance. That it's the sort of thing where if you're able to like recognize when the ABK is coming, just slam down special. Absolutely. It's gonna be dead. Oh. Oh. I, I like the idea behind it. That would have been the way to take the stock, but just a little bit too slow. Air Dodge coming out, saving him. And yeah, let's take this to game two. <sighs> Wa Wario, see, he's, he's having fun. Oh, Wario is chilling. He even have to fart on the witch. He's chilling. Actually, I take it back. Wario's victory lap sounds very fake. It sounds like a man in pain. You know? Just like laughing uncontrollably, but not because whatever just happened is something he finds funny. Well, I mean, compare that to Bayo's losing screen. Bayo! <laughs> All oh, right, when she just has the slow clap. No, she looks so done with it. And that's how we're feeling about all these SDs right now. Love the way that Amaris is playing. Maybe not the SDs. I don't know. Okay. But we have to get back into hyping up our favorite two players on the screen right now. Because we're seeing a very even game. And we're just trying to see some very nice advantage, some nice chomping, some nice slow chewing. Yeah, now I will say that uh, against PK Chris, one of the ways that Nine Super Pie would take stocks without uh, using Waft would be off stage. You know, taking, you know, just completing an ledge trap or an edge guard. But against Bayo, that's tricky. Bayo has one of the best disadvantage states in the game. Yep. So if Emeralds is not just throwing himself into the, you know, jaws of defeat willingly, how is he going to be consistently taking stocks without Waft? I think that kind of remains to be seen. Well, back here could be one of them. And here's just another thing too. Uh, so in doubles, Nine Super Pie actually, you know, took off one of Amarillo's stock with Waft on their recovery. It was, um, it's 
pretty funny. <laughs> Looking at it now. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Ooh, and that was such a good understanding of that situation right there. I people know if you know me, you know. A B for one, two, three. Die. That was looking like it could have been such a bad position because Nine Super Pie used their jump, and they would have been able to just die if they weren't in the right position. But gonna say reversed. It reversed. If that half wall had gone the other way, I'm that is a reduced chance that would have killed. Absolutely. This is looking a little sweet. Amaryllis took a 74% like right at the beginning there and he's been able to respond. You know, I had to nine though off stage. This is looking really rough. But at the very least, Loft was burned. They don't have to worry about it for at least another minute and a half. Instead, they gotta worry about things like up smash. Wario's big kid. I, I'm sorry, but Wario's Up Smash just looks like a knockoff Mario Up Smash. It, it, it honestly really is. You know how, like, Dan Hibiki in Street Fighter, like, has knockoff Ryu and Ken moves? Yeah. That's, like, what it looks like. He's just like, I can do Up Smash better than you by making my head gigantic. And making my mustache. Whoa. You know, it's not even, it's not even <laughs> the head. It's just the mustache that's doing all the work. You ever thought of? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. <laughs> All right. uh. Are you okay? Uh, don't worry. Uh, I'll, I I came up with a. I'll I'll say it when it's relevant. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's not relevant yet. Don't worry. I'll, I'm keeping it in the back pocket. Well. Anyway, so we're into this last section of this game here. I think Half Waft is alive once more. Uh, I don't. Uh, it is faster than the normal Waft, so that could possibly be, you know, a reason for using it. But at the very least, Nine Super Pi. Oh man, the ah! SDI on that. That wasn't DI. That wasn't DI. Nope. That was just Bayo up being bad. I'm gonna pretend it was SDI. Don't no. pretend. Call, call it like you see it. Call it what it is. Why, for some reason, there is a <laughs> spike hitbox on up B. Make it make sense. But I, I promise I'm not upset. I absolutely okay, enjoy I this Okay, I definitely character. died to that spike hitbox, though. So. The spike hitbox that sends you <laughs> gently floating down. I'm like Yoshi. That's, you have super armor. Hello. And then it gets broken sometimes. Now that and I die. What? Now with that B. Oh, it does sometimes. It is, I swear to God, RNG. But sometimes it breaks my up B. Oh, well... <laughs> there are times where I, normally I go through it fine, but then there are some times where I'm just like, huh, I that guess that took my up B. Huh, I guess that semi-spiked me. Huh, I guess I'm dead at two. I've never, oh. well, never say never, I guess. Well, this is, I love how, like, even this is. And we're getting some really nice neutral. Like, hello, if you ever need to learn how to play neutral, I don't know, maybe just look at all of these super good interactions micro spacing everything and not really trying to commit to something because if you commit especially as Bayo, we already know what that spells oh the very end of afterburner kick lands and that's actually super uh super good for amaryllis with stage positioning you've seen what he can do oh we can take him all the way to the top out of here wow <laughs> this is this is an, an event it's unfolding all that happened because he got hit by the very end of side B. Yeah. Don't make a mistake. You deserve SDI. it for uh, for uh, making a single mistake. I think I don't remember what the SDI was on that was, but it was enough to kill. Ooh. Period. Why are you Why are you back here at that percent? Hello. Very nice. Ooh. Oh, that was really good. Kind of baited him into picking up the the bike. Wario definitely knows how to turn his opponent, having the bike in their hands, to his own advantage. Okay, very nice. Amaryllis is doing really well. I really feel like they're they're winning the the game at this point. Like in in terms of um again reversed. Well, that's the second time. And I'm fairly certain that would have killed if it had uh. He had managed to get the right hitbox, but if you're Amaryllis, you are like 
brow, you're just like wiping off some yeah. of the sweat because that definitely makes this, you know, you are in the lead, and I would call that a decisive lead because you don't have to worry about WAP for a long time. And here's also the thing too, like, you know, I feel like a lot of people like aren't really expecting, you know, Bayo to kind of play the game of not being able to commit. And although that was a little bit of an overshoot with that ABK, that is going to end in Amaryllis losing that stock. But it doesn't even matter because Amaryllis is already trying to put on 70% back on to 9 Super Bye. Yeah, have a 9 Super Bye looking for a neutral and one of those combo starters we've seen time and time again. I love this patience though. Hello, this is exactly what you need. Oh, and the first option he was not expecting to be able to close the gap quite like that. Nine Super Pie struggling to find even a single opening. I'm loving this neutral right now from Amaryllis. Just Hello. not giving me any room. No, 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 no. Ooh, I, that ABK. I really feel like this is like, you know. <gasps> oh no, but here comes the mustache ride. Jump. Please. All this damage. Just jump. <gasps> oh my god. Uh, is that half waft? I think it's half waft. Oh, is that full waft? Does he have full waft? I can't quite tell. I think it's half waft, but that's still something that yeah, half waft will kill at this point. But very good. nice. Good. Yep. Preventing the 3 0, keeping Amaryllis alive in this bracket. So now moving into game four, and it does. What are your thoughts about where this set is headed? Do you think Amaryllis has started to figure it out? Or yes. do you think that now that 9 Super Pie has counter pick on stage, maybe things are going to get even worse for Now, see, I, I was mentioning this a little bit before. The thing with this matchup is that Bayo can do so well and still play very aggressively by just simply not committing. You notice in that last game, every single time Amaryllis got an EBK, it was specifically because 9 Super Pie was approaching them with whatever it was, it was just always getting stuffed out, getting dash attacks called out, or just dashes in general getting called out by ABK, which is why Amaryllis was able to get so much damage. And not really being able to commit is why, you know, they've been finding some sort of like way to actually build this damage. <laughs> Did you see how the, the lag animation from all the specials just dodged back here? Yeah. Honestly, more than anything else, look at this neutral right now from Emma. Look at the neutral, the advantage state. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right that something has clicked. Amaro has figured out the right level of patience to be able to do everything he needs to possibly take this all the way. Will he actually manage to get a reverse 3-0? Definitely not Super Pie is going to stop him, try and stop him from doing that. Trapping him in the corner here, we've seen that stocks can end pretty early. And do you want to know the thing here too? The real way that 9 Super Pie has been able to find so much of his damage is specifically because of how Amaryllis keeps on getting back into stage is in tune with the way that Amaryllis is choosing a lot of their disadvantageous positions. And the one thing that this kind of like adds is that, okay, so I can either get you on at ledge or I can just combo you until you're dead, which is essentially what's going on right here. Amaryllis needs to understand that a lot of stuff like that, overshooting with ABK, knowing that they're waiting for you to just commit to that ABK is going to be what ends a stock for Amaryllis. Not entirely just yet, but that dash attack is absolutely going to do it. Yeah, if you're not in Super Pie, that's a very thankful dash attack. No. If he manages to find a rock right now... Oh, what a tick! <gasps> okay. This is actually, if you are Amaryllis, you have to be scared. I believe, yeah, there we go. Full waft is in effect. Dab going to be able to do it? No, even with the buffs, it's not quite enough. You fat Italian. <gasps> oh, oh, that was thin. That's gotta be eaten. No. 196. Amaryllis should be looking for like a grab or like a dash attack, but they want to witch that. <laughs> oh my God, that up tilt. That up tilt just barely whiffed. Ooh. You realize that if that late up tilt had landed, that would have been a walk. Amaryllis kind of <laughs> was bailed out on that one. But the question is whether that bailout is actually going to be enough. Oh, look at for that roll in. There's all of these options coming out here. Another one of those air dodges. The bat with them being so clutch. Very nice. They dropped down fair, and they still were able to get that jab into the full, you know, jab. Jab killing is a little bit weird. <laughs> like, I'm still not used to jab killing. 
I mean, and it, I, it, yeah, I will say it looks like it kills. Not before. <laughs> no, before just like cutting you up into pieces. Also, hold on a second. This uh -huh. game is uh very. I wouldn't even call it even. Despite the fact that Nine Super Pie has 74 damage, I would say he's in the lead right now. He has full waft in the tank. Actually, both of them possibly could die here. When you think about the options that Nine Super Pie has to possibly lead into a stock, it's just a lot easier. Like that grab. Oh! Ooh, that was a very nice wait. They didn't want to follow up with the full a B, but ooh, Amaryllis, Auntie Rylis, Amaryllis is trying to take the stock a B, and that oh my God, if they would have gotten that, that would have been so bad for Amaryllis. Oh, but now the fact that up B is off the table, it did help him recover, but like, I don't think he wanted to use that just as a recovery tool. Right now, seventy-three percent. There's not a lot that Emerald really has to be scared of, whereas Nine Super Pie, he's at 168. That up smash! Things are so scary for both players. That back here, oh look how far it's sent! He doesn't even need Waft! Amaryllis, Amaryllis! One more back here, he dies for either of these characters. How is he surviving at 194? Ah! Oh my god, Amaryllis is on the verge of losing this stock. Yes, get back to stage, back here, and that is absolutely going to take it. Very nice coming in from Amaryllis. They missed a few of those kill options a few times. They had a lot of situations where they had that ABK and they had the back here right there, even if it didn't kill. It was, it's still a little bit of the mis-execution, but they still got the kill. It is 2-2, and now this is where we see Amaryllis try to compose themselves because that <laughs> you would have died even without walk that is some scary thing i would not want to handle either of these fellows controllers after this set because i am sure their palms are sweaty as heck right now <laughs> oh. nothing but moist controllers here <laughs> it's a game five situation yeah oh god Ooh, getting that combo Oh, not going to complete it. However, it's just the start, and we can see a lot of situations where Amaryllis is just going to continuously understand a lot of the times that they actually need to get these ABKs. And if everyone's hiding David up there, hello. Yeah, nice start for Amaryllis. That feels like this actually returned to form from that time the beginning yes. of that last game and the game before where ooh, the neutral was so good but look at what happens after a single neutral boss I swear to god Amaryllis was a lot somehow took it all the way yeah that's kind of just the thing like a lot of this time Amaryllis is playing super well especially in neutral as we've been saying Amaryllis isn't trying to commit however it's just when they get to these situations where they're off stage that should be a punish not much of a punish, actually. I'm a realist. <laughs> Managing to avoid the worst of it. A slap on the wrist. Literally. <laughs> More like a slap from the wrist. <laughs> Anyways. We have fun here. Yeah, I think Nine Super Pie is just really struggling. They understand this is exactly what Amaryllis wants to do, and they're not calling out all these ADKs. They're not staying in place. They're trying to just beat these things out that have such simple answers but Ooh. what does it matter because you're still in the lead and 175 percent and dead goodbye hello all right now if you're amaryllis there are so many components that need to go right for you in order to actually make a comeback happen that's a full walk in effect and right now it's two stocks to one and you cannot afford to get hit by any of those waft combo starters you can't get up till like at, at low percent to neutral air is extremely scary. Oh, but still managing to find his own combo starters. Amaryllis with a quick 58%. Can he go even further? We're back into neutral, but I love this. The pressure continuing from either side of the stage. Oh my god, is that going to kill? Nope. <laughs> I don't even know why I asked myself. <laughs> I should know that it doesn't kill. Backer's going to kill, yeah. But 
No. <laughs> well, this is uh, what we in the business like to call an even game. Or I would if Nine to Reply didn't still have Waft available. And what, did what it what the He had Waft ah! too! He also had Waft. He could have Wafted to get back. What happened? 